I have to believe that it holds some secret strategy. Cerveza Cristal! Cerveza Cristal! Hello, boys and girls. I'm Rude Devil. Welcome back to the Age of Drink Cast. We are on the Nuffarat Delta. The Nuffarat Delta. Are you out of your cotton pick in mind? I have only played on this map once, and it was an experience to say the least. Um, yeah, it's actually a really fun map, but because of all the water and the little islands everywhere, good luck using your spells, particularly terrain spells. I don't know if you know this, but water is not a friend of um, the spell book. It can, it can mess up uh, a lot. Also, pathfinding is uh, often hilarious. So yeah, this is the first cast on Nuffarat Delta. I'm looking forward to it. In the top right, we've got, oh, of course. Of course, it's Elve on Nafarat Delta. Also, speaking of Elve, can people stop sending me Shrek replays? Like, it stopped being funny, like, ten minutes ago. Like, oh, like, I, I get people are enjoying the Shrek arc, but, like, dude, this is, like, hate mail at this point. Anyway, his teammate is Havoc as Dogledore. Against them is Grenlock, that's a pretty cool name, as uh, Isengard. And then to finish it all off, it's Dicey. Ayo, Dicey? Ayo, Assyrian alt? Well, we'll see. But yeah, it's Dicey as Rivendell. Havoc doing what DG does best. Some uh, early well to support his teammate. Um, you know what? Doggledore doesn't actually need wells. Because Dark Presence heals. You don't need wells. That's 500 monies, but... I mean, maybe maybe if they double up there, it'll be good. Anyway, Broken Rabble versus Wildman. The ward shot does come in, so these Wildmen should actually... Uh, win the day. Otherwise, Broken Rebel just destroy everything. I mean, value for money, Broken Rebel have to be the best unit in the game. Oh my god! I had to say they were the best unit in the game when Outriders come in. Ooh, Pink Builder, nice. But yeah, that's, um, they saw the forward base and they weren't letting anything, anything, um, have it. So that's three Broken Rebel dead in a, in like this, in a matter of seconds by this cavalry. Well goes down, 500 money's well spent. Not looking good for the top team, I'll be honest. He needs to start making some spearmen to um, counter these fuckboys. And um, they keep making forward buildings. I don't think they've actually got... Oh no, he's got one troop. Okay, he's got that. Wall hub was probably to protect his builder. And the torches upgrade. Yes, if you want to get in DG's face quickly, go with the torches. Oh, that's actually fantastic. Nice, he's got torches on both of them. The jails don't stand a chance. And uh, there's no carnage, war chance worn off. So yeah, I mean, uh, these, these wild men are just gonna... Oh my god, he's just... Has he got the cock and balls? He's got a cock and a ball. Hey, it's, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright to only have one. Said no one ever. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, rip Havoc's forward base. That did not go the way you thought it would. I'm pretty sure he had a different idea in his mind. See, this, I, I would have got swarmed, because I don't go Wildman start. I'm way too cool for that. Um, I go, I go Urk Scout, and then I whine, and then I, and then I feed, and then that's my Isengard experience. But yeah, good luck, good luck, yeah. Even he was like, yeah, no. You get the Builder back, you don't, Lamel, freaking noob moment. Um, and Elvay's having to stem the tide here. And there's like three torches hitting this one farm, and look how much damage it's doing. Okay, well, Baragond might be able to stem the tide. Does Baragond one-shot Duno? He does! Fucking hell, Baragond is good. Okay, Thrain the Broken is out. If someone's gonna stage a comeback, it's not him. Can those birds stop squawking? You're alerting the enemy, goddammit. But yeah, welcome to Nuffrat Delta. That was, um... That was a huge grinding kick in the D. I'm surprised Havoc can still stand after that. Um, if they focus on Thrain, which is what they should be doing, then they can kill him and have the jail. And there's the stealth, okay. Wait, something's killing them. And it's Baragond, okay. Oh man, Baragond is just... Baragond is just the boy at the moment. He's just the boy. And early marketplace, okay. Elve's cooking. I think he's gonna go for early Boromir or early Gandalf. With an early... I don't know, man. I don't know. Honestly, Baragond and Denethor is like all you need at the moment. It's just too good. Alright, we got Lumbermill, we got an armory for Isengard. We do have the Uruk Pit, it is upgraded because there's a little boy Berserker on the field right about now. He's making more Berserkers. Get some Sappers in there, dude. Let's mix it up. Wait, you need... You need... Level 3 Siege Works. That's why. That's why you never see him. Level 3 Siege Works? Why not just level 2? Meet me halfway here. Half of 3 is 2, clearly. Anyway, um, there's another hero out for your boy. It is... Oh, it's just dripping. Alright, he's still cooking. And, yeah, I don't know what Havoc did to piss these people off. 
Maybe I missed something in a previous game, but yeah, they are doubling up hard. The Outriders get the mill, the Wildmen get the mill. There is a spy, somehow he's got money for that. Baragon just gonna one-shot literally everything in the game. I, do, I think everything, every time he's pulled his bow, or released his bow, whatever, released the arrow, he's killed something. He's just one-shot, one kill with this guy. And now he's got Defender of the White City. Okay, here we go. Have you got time to level up? Berserkers are at... Don't tell me he's gonna lose his Spire. Oh my god, and he's upgraded. Man's blood. Is that the one that does bonus damage? It does, it does stacking damage. Ah! So you spend a thousand monies on your Spire, you want it to live past the first attack? Bruh. I forget how much man's... Um, yeah, man's blood is, but yeah, that's definitely the one that stacks. It's the upgrade I never go for, but Grenlock's like, nah, Redevil, you're talking you're talking out your ass. I mean, finally, someone's seen it. Oh, free kill under the fort, though? Nope, the, the Uruks are taking it. And, I mean, what does Havoc actually have? Because remember, he's having to spend money to make his builders as well. We can only think the fact that Rivendell actually has only been sending, like, two Cav this entire game. Otherwise, this game would probably be done and dusted. So Havoc's been kicked in the dick. He's been kicked in the teeth now. I mean, someone's going to be slurping. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how much more punishment he can take. Rivendell's going to push now. He's got Gildor. Uh, I mean, if he's got Cav support, then like maybe he can do something here. But Baragon is still going to be a thorn in his side. Alright, I was... Expecting like, Captain of the I was expecting like an uber cringe strat, but no, he's he just wanted to go early marketplace, I guess. We must find our advantage. He's gonna pull back here because he's outnumbered. Slam shot. There it is. We'll just kill four Dunedain with one arrow. That's how it works. And good luck taking these buildings when Baragon's uh, armor buff is there. This would be a great time for Pinoth Galen uh, Riders. Because these Dune 9 are probably the most annoying part here. Although these Bounders still aren't dead. I guess they are getting leadership from Gildor. Gildor does have his summon ready to go if Cavalry were to show up. But yeah, I think this is just another moment of uh, you only need Baragon. I did see a lot of heroes out for DG. Oh! When... When, when, when did this happen? When did you get the money for Cargast and... Oh, Elve must have sent him money. Because there's no way. He literally had nothing. Elve must have... Okay, yeah, Elve was... For the price of Cargast and Necromancer, you, could, you can get Gandalf. So I think that was actually Elve's plan. He must have sent him money. And I think it's going to work out, because Necromancer and Cargast side by side are just perfect. And these Bounders are still going! Gildo proving his worth here. There it is, level 2 farm. See you later. <laughs> Baragon literally having to do it all himself. He's level 6 now. And I didn't think he was going to get anything here, but he got the barracks and the farm, so... That was well played from Dicey. Um, oh yeah, there's monkey lairs on this map! I mean, it's dead now. There's also naval units! Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck are there naval units? I guess you could do like a D-Day invasion here. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, such a messed up map. Okay. This is... Oh, yep, you're dead. And... Ooh, Necromancer's going in deep for it. Duno Nine are focusing him hard. Gildor survives. Necromancer does get out. Kargast... Yeah, I mean, you won't be able to catch up to Kargast. You could actually send the dog around to kill Gildor. That could actually work. It requires a little bit of micro. This freaking dog is way too strong, dude. There's another reason why Necromancer is so freaking annoying. Anyway, huge push by Isengard. Again, with the torches. And Berserker. Fully upgraded, it looks like. There's a Horrid Dread. Gonna actually get quite a few kills there. I say quite a few. There's like three. But still, more than I expected. And there's Elrond for some fucking reason. And Tainted Land, Warchant, Berserker with Man's Blood. Dude, who is this Grenlock kid? I love that he did Man's Blood. It's like 450 for that upgrade or something ludicrous. 
and elevate to the rescue again. We do a little crowd controlling. Ooh, it knocks, knocks back everything. And I think that might actually be enough. Oh my god, Necromancer got absolutely touched. That was not a skill issue. That was a berserker issue. Holy hell. And archers, they've got Bodkins, which means Faramir is also on the field. Oh, sorry, he's got Ithilien, which means uh, Faramir is on the field. And is the fortress going to go down? Honestly, if it wasn't for the trebuchet, I think the berserker solos this fort. Damn. Okay, now now comes Rivendell's turn. I don't know why... I mean, if Grenlock is doing one thing wrong, it's that he's attacking way too slowly, like, in between attacks. Like, unless he's, like, perma out of money. Um, no, he's got money. Alright, Gildor's that. The reason why I thought he might be out of money is because he's upgrading his, his berserkers. But yeah, if he just sent in, like, another wave, like, exactly what he just sent in... With Rivendell, you easily get this forward, but if you look at the minimap, he's really just sort of being chilling there. He's taking his time, and you're going to, like, lose the initiative that way. And yeah, this is this is not an attack you should do, because it's 2v1 here. I know you've got Elrond, but you need to... Oh my god, he just wiped out! Okay, that was cool. That was sweet. He just wiped out, just casually killing all those broken rabble in one swing. But yeah, it was still 2v1, and he's got upgrades. That was a mistake, Dicey. That was awfully... Dicey, okay. Um, so yeah, tier 2 for bottom team. Tier 2 for Elve, we saw. And Havoc... Um, Havoc is present. He was he was technically alive during this game. He got... He's going to get the participation award. Alright, Mahoot Spears in there. Do they beat Ravagers? I don't think so. Yep, there's the Ravager Tramble. And that's a, that's a feed. Grenlock, if you're wondering what a feed looks like, right there. Right there. Right there. If you think that, uh... That those Wadmen were all upgraded as well. That's like an extra 200 monies, or however much it is. Yeah, that was a feed. That was, uh... That was what the French call le feed. Yeah, I like the Salt Spire quote on Kargas. That was cool. So Elrond's... Oh! Elrond's dead. I, I think that was a mistake. Alright, Grenlock, I think you want to block this dicey kid because that was another huge feat. That was a 4,000 hero down the drain for no reason. Just 4,000 heroes dying for no reason. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's okay, dicey. We all know... Actually, dicey might be Versace with the way that hero moved. Someone get on the horn to Versace. Tell me if he was playing on Nafarad Delta the other day. Bro, you're floating B... Okay. Okay, Versace doesn't feed builders like that. I don't know. This dicey kid is playing with fire. And by fire, I mean the block list. Nah, that's cool. That, that's harsh. Anyway, Hysteria. I guess Havoc strategy as well. If we're going to burn, we might as well just try and crash the game. With Hysteria, the world flips a coin and holds its breath. Game of Thrones reference for all you nerds out there. Shout out to my people. But yeah, that was that was a massive feed. That was yeah, that was huge. And now they're attacking. Okay, the berserkers fully upgraded. That's all of his money spent. Ravagers won't be able to hold the line. Oh, but perfect cover. Why did you keep fighting two v one? You did so well. Your start was so promising, and now you're just fighting two v one every time. You almost soloed the fortress. Let's not throw your life away. So is that a hero? Oh my god, Kargas strikes again. Does Kargas level one always target heroes when you auto cast it? Does it actually work? It must do, because it's auto-casted. Okay. Cargas might be a lot easier to use than I thought. Because when you auto-cast some other abilities, like Gimli Axtro, it'll just attack anything. Despite, you know, you wanting it to use uh, on heroes. Level 7, Spell of the Barrows. That actually does work on Ravagers. It works on any undead. And yeah, don't mind if we just feed. I guess this is why you stay in games. At least Rivendell is expanding their eco. Doesn't have reverence of Yovana yet, but still has a lot of eco space. And what 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 are these wildmen doing? Literally, all of Gondor is emptied, and you're like, you know what? No. The shortest distance between two bases is a straight line, and that's where I'm going. Also, um, Mahoot Spearman in grey look freaking baller. They look like uh, 
They look like the bad guy from uh, that Roger Moore film. Fucking hell, that's an old reference. I haven't even really seen that film, but you, you, you know the bad guy. It's like that Jamaican dude. From that one James Bond movie. Does anyone know what I'm talking about now? Alright, well, well that reference, I'm pretty sure no one just got that one. Anyway, Boromir's on the field. Where's our boy? There he is. Pink Boromir. Rocking it proudly. And is the great counterattack going to begin? We do have Dol Amroth Citadel. I'm not sure where he summoned it. Uh, oh, in the back. Okay. I think Elve is basically just... Just renting Havoc's base. Elve definitely saved his bacon in the beginning. Uh, he gave him money to buy Necromancer, and Necromancer died. <gasps> There's Gandalf! We didn't hear Gandalf! Wizard Blast, see you, Noldos. Oh, Noldos still alive, actually. All the Breelanders took like their freaking champions. And I think he's playing without the delay fix, the way that Tengado hide came in. And... I think that's basically GG, because I don't think you feed like that and then come back, so... Yeah, I think this might be one of those uh, moments where we cut. He does have Unburied Whites now that's going to buff. Or that's going to uh, synergize well with Cargas. And there's a ping in the top. Oh, they want the monkeys. Okay, well, we're going to we're gonna cut and we're going to see. Okay, I think the attack is about to begin. We've got literally every Gondorian hero. We've got Tower Guards. We've got Dolamroth Knights moving across. And your boy Necromancer is back in black, literally. So, this was an odd game. That was such a incredible start from uh, Grenlock. There's Hysteria! And... Wait. Okay, that was... that was. I thought Necromancer was dying there. That was just his puppy dog. And yeah, no chance. Literally no chance. Literally no chance. I mean, not even a fully upgraded army can stop Doggledor with they've got all this going, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's a problem. This is an odd game. This was, we had him in the first two minutes. We were literally on the cusp of victory, and then... What if we just fed? Yeah. I'm not sure it's the map. I think it was just... A... A huge lack of coordination between teammates. Because when you have... Like, when you completely neuter one player, you should really not throw it away. But, maybe they'll learn from this. Maybe they'll learn to coordinate their attacks a bit more. That would be the optimal outcome. Um, it still wasn't lost after that. They just fed hugely. But yeah. So, so long as you learn from your defeats, it's not such a big deal. But yeah, this one is over. Steel plating is not going to save you from Necromancer. No way, Jose. Oh, mine launcher might, though. My boy. You know what? I think it killed quite a bit, but not as much as you want. Elvey's almost at tier 4. Let's see. Level 5. Three level 5 Athelian Rangers. I think that about sums it up. Level 7 Gandalf. I think that also about sums it up. And El and uh, Gandalf just killed one of Elrond's sons, so... A bit of bl bad blood there. And... Beautiful. I don't know if we'll get to see the Word of Power. But we will get to see Alisar. Oh, man. Imagine you have the actual, like, sort of... You can feel it in the air. It's palpable that your, that your country is in ruin. And then you finally see the king crowned again. Uh, it saddens me that Boromir never got to see that moment. And that's... Oh! Oh, okay. This is just the Elevay show. This is Elevay's world, we're all just living in it. What a way to finish. Very nice. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. That was odd. I'm just gonna say, that was odd. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. See you next time. <gasps> Goodbye.